Hello, welcome to RCC's Math Tape 078, Perimeter and Angle Problems. In this lesson we will work with perimeters of rectangles and triangles. We will also work with the measures of the three angles of a triangle. As you watch the tape, take your notes carefully and accurately. Be sure to mark on your paper anything you don't understand or any exercises I give you that you have difficulty working and then ask for help from your professor or from a tutor or instructor in the math lab. Now let's begin. Our two objectives on this tape are to solve perimeter problems involving triangles and rectangles and to solve problems involving the angles of a triangle. Solve perimeter problems involving triangles and rectangles. Solve problems involving the angles of a triangle. I assume that you know what triangles and rectangles are, but just in case you need a reminder, here's a picture of each. The triangle has three sides. The triangle has three angles. The three sides of the triangle may all be different, as in this sketch. They may all be the same, or two out of the three of them may be the same length. A rectangle has less leeway. The rectangle has exactly four sides. Two of the sides are the same measure, and the other two sides are the same measure. Traditionally, we call the longer, longer sides lengths, and we call the shorter sides widths. Although, we could call the longer side the width and the shorter side the length if we chose. But in a rectangle, four sides, opposite sides, are the same measures. Let's take a look at a definition. Our definition is for the perimeter of a geometric figure. It says, the perimeter of a geometric figure is the measure of the distance around the figure. The perimeter of a geometric figure is the measure of the distance around the figure. If we look at a triangle, the perimeter of the triangle would be the measure of that distance around the triangle, all three sides, the perimeter of a rectangle would be the measure of the distance around the rectangle, all the way around, through one, two, three, four sides. The perimeter is the measure of the distance around the figure, all the way around. This gives us a strategy. To find the perimeter, add the lengths of all the sides. That's all we must do. Just add the lengths of all the sides. We're going to look at some examples of finding the perimeter. Let's begin with example one, the perimeter of a triangle. The perimeter of a triangle is 19 centimeters. One side of the triangle is one centimeter shorter than the second side. The third side is two centimeters longer than the second side. Find the length of each side. Let me read it once again. The perimeter of a triangle is 19 centimeters. One side of the triangle is one centimeter shorter than the second side. The third side is two centimeters longer than the second side. Find the length of each side. Now, how many sides does the triangle have? Well, of course, the triangle has three sides. So the triangle, we know, has three sides. Let's sketch the triangle and list the three things that we need to work with. We'll have a first, a second, and a third side. Now, our strategy is to add up the lengths of these three sides. Let's see what we know about them. We know that 
one side of the triangle is one centimeter shorter than the second side. One centimeter shorter than means one less than. Notice that we're basing this on the second side. This means that we need a variable to stand for the second side. Let's choose our all-time favorite, x. x will stand for the second side. Right away you notice that something curious is happening. We're choosing our x for the second side, not the first side, because one of the sides is based on the second side. We must have something to work with there. Well, let's finish this one up. One side of the triangle is one centimeter shorter than the second side. If our second side is x, one centimeter shorter than x will be x subtract 1. Now the third side. The third side is two centimeters longer than two more than, which means we will add two, two centimeters longer than the second side. Once again, we have the second side as our base side. Two centimeters longer than the second side will be our second side formula, which is x plus two. Two centimeters longer than the second side. Well, this gives us a formula for each of the three sides x minus 1 for the first, x for the second, and x plus 2 for the third. Now the strategy is add the matrix of the three sides to get the perimeter. We're told the perimeter is 19. So we'll add these three expressions and get 19. Well, I've put down a set of parentheses for the first, which will be x minus 1, for the second, which will be x, and for the third, which will be x plus 2, there the three sides are, and they add up to give me the perimeter, 19. Now we have an equation. All we must do is solve the equation. So let's begin by simplifying the left-hand side. Notice that we have no multiplication to be done. All we're doing is adding these expressions, so we will combine the like terms. Let's change our subtract 1 to add negative 1 to keep our signs straight. This gives us 1x plus 1x plus 1x, which makes 3x. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, and so we get 3x plus 1 equals 19. To solve this, we'll eliminate the 1 from both sides by adding negative 1. 3x plus 1 plus negative 1 equals 19 plus negative 1. The 1 and negative 1 on the left-hand side cancel. 3x is left on the left-hand side. 19 plus negative 1 is 18. So we have 3x is equal to 18. All that's left is to divide both sides by 3, and we get x is equal to 6. Well, is that it? Let's go back and see what the question asked. Find the length of each side. Not just one of them, but each of them. We've got x is 6. That means 6 will represent x in each of these sides. So back where we came up with expressions to represent each of the sides, let's fill in 6 in place of x. And so for the first side, we have 6 subtract 1, which is 5. For the second, we have x, which is 6. And for the third one, we have x plus 2, which is 6 plus 2, and that gives us 8. And so we have lengths of 5, 6, and 8. But 5, 6, and 8 what? Well, back to the original problem. We notice the perimeter is 19 centimeters. Centimeters. Centimeters are involved throughout. Everywhere we see a unit of measure, it's centimeters. This means that all the measures in here are centimeters. So the first one is 5 centimeters. The second one is 6 centimeters, and the third one is 8 centimeters. Now, without the units, we have not completed the problem. But now that we have them, we have our three sides, 5 centimeters, 6 centimeters, and 8 centimeters.